Now let's set up our subscriptions to go with our file manager so that everything works together. So we'll start with manage intervals. Now what you can do here, right now we have monthly and yearly intervals, but you can add any you want. So let's add a 30 day one. So we'll call this 30 days. And of course in days, and then you can choose between any of these parameters here. So 30 days, interval amount is 30. So that goes with this, so 30 days. Sort order, this is like a weight, so zero will be at the top, and any higher amount number will cause them to drop in the tree. So we just set that the way you want it. Now if we look up here, we have monthly, 30 days, and yearly. Okay, so that's all we need there. Of course, you can set those up any way you want. We go into Manage Types. And here we have a basic and premium that are already set up. That was already set up as a default when the program was installed. So let's create ones that we want. Okay, so we're going to call this a bronze. Bronze access. Okay, there's no parent type. And this is just like a tree, so it would go under basic or premium if, if we were going to keep those, which we're not. And then we select bronze here. Of course, if we had multiple types of memberships we're going to use, we might have bronze, silver, and gold, then we'd set up one for each of these. Now, if we look up here, we have basic bronze and premium. Now, let's remove the types in here that we don't need anymore. So, we don't need basic. So, go into modify and delete here. And we don't need premium. We'll delete here. Manage subscriptions. All right, so we have yearly basic, monthly premium, and yearly premium. Those are defaults that were installed with the system. So we'll set up our new one here, and we're going to make a bronze access subscription. And we're going to use 30 days. Subscription name is going to be bronze access. And then the price you're going to charge. Again, sort order, this is used to give it the order, and then the higher numbers again, make it lower in the tree. And click finished. Okay, now if we look up here, we have bronze access, yearly basic, and so on. So what we want to do is we're going to get rid of these other ones here. So we'll just click modify, and then down here where it says delete, we'll say yes. And... Delete that one. Okay, and then we'll do, say, a yearly bronze access. And we'll charge $24.95, for instance. And there we go. So now we have our our own subscriptions in there. Okay, next payment gateways we've already set up. Okay, transaction reports. This is where you can have a look at any reports that you need here. Of course, there's nothing in here right now. However, if you need to add a transaction, you can do it right here. Subscription report just shows you who's subscribed and what they're subscribed to. You can send expiration notices to people. With PayPal, you don't really need to do that because it's going to auto bill, auto renew subscriptions. 
what this is going to do is it's going to actually renew the subscriptions within your system here, whether they paid or not. So you need to be careful if you really want to use that. And then make sure you have your gateway all set up, right? <clears throat> 